Ah. Hello, YouTube viewers. Head of Miss Dragon, coming at you with another video. Uh, I'm sorry I've, uh, for last week I haven't really posted any videos. Things have been very busy. But don't worry, today is a special video. And hopefully you guys will listen to the end of this video. Do not hit that skip button, hit that like button, the subscribe button, notification bell button, and follow me on my social media links. Those of you who are new to this show, new to this channel, well, do the same thing I just said. <laughs> uh, support my channel and all that stuff. But anyway, let's go on to the video. Ooh, it feels good out here. It really does feel good out here. I'm trying to be back. I'm the dragon. Now, in today's video, we're going to be discussing two little blades that not many people will use in America. Literally. Not many people will use in America. It is very difficult, as I might say. Today, we're going to be using Karambe blades. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, head of me as dragon. What? What? Why Karambe blades? Why would I use a blade I don't know how to use? I'm pretty sure it's Karambe. Is there like a certain way you're supposed to hold it, or are you just like, you know? Like a regular katana blade, why does it three notches? Well, I'm glad you ask. You see, the karambit or karambit blade is not really originated from America. You see, this is actually a Malaysian um, martial art weapon. See, these things have been used in a, a martial art called pinkat silat, or silat if you want to put it that way, the technical term. But um, these things right here are very deadly, obviously, very, very dangerous, and put in the wrong hands, a very most powerful weapon any warrior or martial practitioner could ever do. As for holding these little doodads, one thing for one thing for sure, your whole hand is very important for this, obviously. Now for the finger, your index finger, you put in, let me put it this way. Yeah, this way, so you guys can be easier for you guys to understand. When you put your karamba blade on, you put your ring or your index, well that ring on bad, <laughs> I'm talking about. I know, your index finger right in here in the hole. Your other three fingers, that's what the notches are for right here. Other three fingers go right here. Middle finger, ring finger, pinky, like that. And you do strikes just like this and like that. And I know you guys saw in those videos, those awesome videos of people doing those cool trick things when they twirl or like, twirl like that. Don't worry, calm down. I'm gonna explain that too, how to use that part. Now I know you guys may not be very much, you know, keen to these type of weapons so I'm just gonna do certain certain basics one thing for sure here's your up strike here's your horizontal strike here's your regular punch and yes you can actually punch with these things these things <laughs> can you imagine somebody coming at you and saying you miss who but say you got a blade right here guess what they're not getting far even if they dodge okay I may need some help on that I may need to see some help because that was very graphic and I haven't even cut myself see, when you're holding this Make sure, like matter of fact, when you hold it like this, when you want to twirl it, be sure to actually hold your hand like this. That way the blade right here doesn't go all the way around and starts, you know, going out of control. Be sure to control it. Take your time with it. Don't go too fast with it. Now look, we're going to do this. You're going to go right across your hand like this. Make sure it doesn't go like this, like flat. Make sure on the other side you only see this right there. If it goes like this, you're doing it wrong. Other way. Stay wrong. You don't, you're not doing it right. Just make sure it's actually facing this way, like that, because it's got to come back. It's got to snap back, right back to it. Now, usually you guys can just let let it like roll onto your fingers like this. For me, I just like smack it right back. You know, by the time it gets right here, I smack it back. But that's all up to you guys. Another good question somebody asked me about the karambit or karambit blades was that have I ever cut myself with these things? And I say yeah. I mean, a couple of times I cut myself. I mean, that's one one thing for sure. I mean, for me as a martial artist, what I learn by hit the ground running, by putting my nose to the grindstone, I really don't really have time or the money to actually try to buy like a practice tool weapon. I mean, I'm a 21 year old young man, so I really don't have time to buy any of those stuff. Plus, I learn better. The notches and the cuts and bruises I get, that do got an awesome motorcycle. <laughs> Okay, and the cuts and notches the bruises I get, those things teach me, let me know I gotta be more careful next time. Because with martial art weapons, you don't want to just think, oh, you can pick up a weapon and it's gonna be easy. You think it's gonna be, you know, 
it's going to be a walk in the park. No, especially with these things, especially if you don't know what to do. I show this to anybody, they're going to go like, what the heck is this? What the freak is this? And especially when they have like two of these, they're going to go like, what the heck is this? Hang on. They you have two of these, they're going to go like, what the heck are these weapons? It's going to confuse the heck out of them. And it's going to be even more embarrassing if I don't know how to use these things. I'm going to go swinging around and like, ho, 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 and then all of a sudden it slaps, slits my hand. They're going to go like, you don't even know how to use those weapons, do you? You just weren't bought, bought random weapons, you idiot. I'm drifting off the subject. Anyway, back to what I was talking about. Let's go ahead and go back to the little lesson about twisting and flipping these karate blades. Now, once you get used to doing this, you start doing some cool, crazy tricks. Like, for instance, when you start... Um, how should I put it? You start twirling around like this, and then bring it right back to your hand. Like that. And not only that, you can actually do it two ways. Fua, 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 fua. With two blades. And, of course, it's gonna be cool. Now, practice doing it one hand at a time. I cannot stress this enough. You guys got to be even more careful with these blades. These blades. All right, these blades are no joke. They will cut you if you're not careful. All right, a man is strong, but the weapon can break down any man if you're not careful. All right, your greatest weapon can be your worst enemy if you're not careful as well. But with these weapons, practice doing one hand, right hand, then left hand. And then alternate. Once you get used to doing that, get the good feel of that, then do it at the same time. And if you're very good, you can actually do like some tricks to it too. You know, do some cool tricks to it. Add some more flair into it. Still be careful with it. Don't do anything stupid. Don't go too fast. Take your time. Now, just to let you guys know, I am not a master at these weapons. I'm just gonna let you guys know that right now. I'm not a master. All right, I'm a practitioner learning how to learn how to control these weapons because I bought these. Of course, I got to learn how to use them. I can't just buy these things and they get in my hand and I immediately know how to use them. Not unless I'm a quick runner, which I am. But with these weapons, you got to take your time. I cannot stress that enough, guys. I really am. I really cannot stress that enough. But other than that, these weapons are awesome. These weapons are cool. And of course, as you can see by the look of these things, they come in many colors. It's up to you guys if you want to buy like a red, a gold, or I think neon, blue, I don't know what color this is. Please put it down in the comments what color this is. Technicolor? Or technically, I don't know. You see that? Deadly. Dangerous. And also quite hard to get off when you stick it into a... Um, when you stick these things into, cut, 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 cut the camera, cut the camera. As for this video, oh, oh, also, you guys also noticed too, I have these blades held, held like this. Not that mention. <laughs> kind of went in my mouth. Hair went in my mouth. <sighs> I forgot to mention you guys can also hold these things like this. Now. I am not a good practitioner to do these things, hold it like this. I see some people actually try to twirl it around like this and they go like, oosh, see look at that, I'm all about to hurt myself and I don't even know how to use it. Be careful of these things. Anyway, you guys can actually hold it like this, you know. All that stuff. That's one way to do it. Now, these things, Either called Karambe or Karambe. Either way, I love these weapons. Alright, and if you guys would love to see more videos like this and see some like uh, you know, some tutorials on how to use certain weapons, especially weapons you don't know, put that down in the comments. Yeah, for sure. Put that down in the comments. I don't mind at all to show you guys how to use these karambe blades. Alright? Hold it this way, hold it that way, other way. Whew. That's what I call a warrior. A warrior must know how to use weapons. And in life, guys, you're going to have to learn how to use a weapon. 
even if it doesn't really come to a point where you guys want to have to fight without a weapon or fight with a weapon either way be prepared for anything all right oh, okay there's a bunch of hawks flying over my head right now that's why i'm so distracted look at that bird it's a beautiful oh man but other than that i hope you guys like this video Please like, comment, subscribe. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe. Also hit that notification bell. Also follow me on my social media links on my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. If you guys want me to do Snapchat, put that down in the comments too. I'll try to see what I can put on Snapchat, depending on you guys. All right? And I hope you guys have a nice, beautiful, blessed day. By the way, happy Valentine's Day, which is a day late, even though this is the 15th. Either way, see ya. Wop. Yeah! yeah.